brothers Rich and Phil Milbourne are cycling to every ground in the football league. They're hoping to raise money for the charities that help their parents through serious illness. Uh, we're raising money for breast cancer care and the British Liver Trust. Um, kind of a, sign, a show of appreciation for our parents because Dad had a liver transplant here at Addenbrooke's Hospital and Mum is a breast cancer survivor. So it's showing our appreciation for them and for uh, two charities that helped them out when they were going through, through tougher times. Well, Dad had a uh, liver failure, um, so he, he, uh, he had to obviously get a new liver, so he was on the waiting list for quite a while here at Edinburgh's, and then uh, fortunately one day uh, we were able to get a liver for him, so that was great. And uh, Mum had breast cancer, so um, that was quite a traumatic couple of years in the family's, uh, family's lifetime, I guess. So but fortunately now she's, she's come through the other side and they're both, both very healthy, which is great. Both parents are around to support their sons as they set off at the place that saved Andrew's life. Around 80 to 90 livers are successfully transplanted in Cambridge every year. However, according to surgeons here, they may have to adopt alternative methods to meet demand. The supply is always going to be an issue. There will always be more people who could benefit from uh, receiving a transplant than organs are available. Over the next 10 years, what's going to be important is being able to use more what we call marginal organs, which would not necessarily be a perfect organ, but which we can improve by doing manipulations after they've been donated by uh, the person who's died, so that they allowing them to be used, and that will increase the number of transplants that we can perform. Organ donations fell by 5% in the last year, the first fall in 11 years. This led to 7% less pancreas transplants, saw a 12% fall in heart and lung donations, 4% less kidneys, and 3% fewer livers. NHS figures show that nearly 40 people died while on the waiting list in Cambridgeshire in the last five years, while over 80 are still on it. The waiting times are slightly artificial um, because kidney patients who are in kidney failure can remain on dialysis for a very long time, for years, and therefore they stay on the waiting list for a long time. Patients with heart failure, lung failure and liver failure will die after a finite period of time um, if they do not receive an organ, and therefore the waiting lists, and the actual waiting times are never very long because the patients have died <coughs> rather than being transplanted. Approximately one in five to one in six of the patients on the liver transplant waiting list at the currently in the UK die before receiving an organ. Rich and Phil know they're lucky to still have their mum and dad to follow them along in their 2,000 mile journey. Despite a few flat tyres, they're on course to seeing every ground in the country, starting here at the Abbey Stadium and finishing at West Ham's Upton Park at the end of August. Adam Page, Cambridge TV.